Hello class, today we will be learning about the Rorschach inkblot test. The Rorschach inkblot test is a psychodynamic test that is used to determine personality. It was created by Hermann Rorschach, a Swiss psychologist who loves to study clixography and making inkblot pictures. Does anybody have any questions about him or the test? Yes, you. Yes, I have a question. What about Herman's childhood? That's a great question. Herman was the oldest of three. His, he had a sister, Anna, and a brother named Paul. His parents' name were Ulrich and Philippine Rorschach. His father was an art teacher, which influenced Herman to express himself creatively. He was deciding whether he should go for art or history as a major in college, but he chose science and went to the med school at the University of Zurich. He studied under Eugene Bleuler, who was a psychiatrist taught by Carl Jung. Rorschach saw a connection between psychoanalysis and his ink blots. And he wondered why so many people would guess different answers to each ink block. So he started doing experiments on the children at the med school and asked for their responses. Yes? Could you please expand more on the development of the test? Gladly. There are many other people who tried using the ink blot test as a creative experiment, such as Alfred Binet. But it was Rorschach who really made it big. In 1921, Rorschach made a, a, wrote a book called Psychodiagnostic. It was the basis of the inkblot test. It was very popular in the 60s, but now it's considered controversial. It was also very complex to score, and only some psychologists knew how. But sadly, Herman Rorschach died the next year. Okay, are there any other questions? Yes. What were the ink blots of? Also, can you tell us how the test was conducted? The ink blots are symmetrical paintings, and no one really knows what they are. Everyone gives different answers, and that's what predicts the personality factors. I have a video to show you on how it's conducted. Take a look. Hello, Riley. Hello, Mr. Rorschach. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I am going to conduct a test that I have made on my own on you. Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. All right, let's get started. Okay, so for our first one, I want you to tell me what you see. A butterfly. Okay, good. So for our next one, I want you to again tell me what you see. I see a face with this mouth open. Okay, we have a total of ten of these. Here's number three. What do you see? I see an alligator. Okay, good. Here's the next one. What do you see? I see a frog. Here's the next one. What do you see? I see a moth. Okay, here's number six. What do you see? I see a tree. Okay, just a few more. What do you see? I see a furry monster. Okay, here are a few with a little more color. What do you see? I see a reflection of two anteaters walking. Alright, just two more. What do you see? Um, I see a face of a hamster. Okay, here's our last one. What do you see? I see someone with yellow eyes and slouched eyebrows. Hello, Haley. Hello, Mr. Rorschach. 
I just saw your friend Riley. He did this test that I made, and I want to conduct it on you. Is that okay? Sure. All right, let's begin. Tell me what you see. Okay, both of you have completed your test. Oh, and by the way, this is my dog, Harley. Hello. You're stealing his dog? <laughs> yes. Anyway, I have scored both your tests based on your answers and aneurysms while taking this test. Yes. And with the score, I have predicted personality. So it seems to me that one of you are a little more aggressive than the other. The more aggressive one is Riley, just by your answers with the, the monster in the faces. And Haley's more of a calm, more like laid back, a type B personality. So I thank you both for participating. And if you need anything, um, a call away. Thank you. Thank you. You have an adorable outfit. Oh, thank you. Good afternoon, Mr. Stevens. How are you doing today? Oh, schizophrenic. You don't talk much, do you? Okay, so I'm going to show you some ink bots and tell me what you see. Excuse me? No. No. No! I want you to tell me no. what you Please don't see here. Tell me what you see. Okay, um, I'm going to have to show you another. What do you see in this one? I have one more to show you. What do you see here? Let's check around the back. 